back again at the MEA, boys and girls. Grey as ever today, as the boys arrive. Saw our social media man there. Look at him carrying those corner flags. They're heavier than they look. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> Bet those bibs absolutely stink. Sound, Steve. Do you know what I mean? This is my vice captain duties. I literally, I came out for the speaker. Now, this is the first time he's ever done it. What are you talking camera. about? I do this every week. <laughs> Hey, I do this literally every week. Where's everybody else inside? Not vice captain. Where's the captain? I'm not here. <laughs> Seriously. Boys and girls, it's Haydock FC today, a team we've faced twice this season already, once in the cup and once in the league, and we've been hammered 4-0 both times. It's massive we beat them today, not just for our own pride, but if we win today and get some sort of momentum going again, our push for promotion will seem real again. Right, listen. Gee, Swan needs Four, to get two, three, a screen wipe for his laptop. Um, it's Martin in net, obviously. Uh, Mikey and Richie, left and right back. Uh, Tommy, obviously, at the back. Zach, Omar in the middle. Nosa in front. Ryan, Ronnie, Joa. Go whichever side you can go around the outside on today. So figure that out. I want you to go around the outside and get to the byline for cutbacks, yeah? You should be able to find Ryan and Nosa. Left foot draw. Now there, I'm just going to say that number two last time one in the window to go. I've never seen you use it. They didn't like getting run though. So they need. Well, you can switch on him if you want, but they don't like getting run. And I think if you come inside, you'll come into congestion because they have a pair of sixes that sit. So I want you to go around the outside and try and penetrate that way. The first thing when it comes to you guys. Get your hips set straight, face the goal, and get in behind, yeah? Attack in behind. Now, worst case scenario, I think I actually think you're gonna get a penalty today. And that'd be a nice fucking refreshing change, because these lot will kick the shit out of you. And you ain't taking it. The big focus for me today, lads, and it always goes back to this. Never fucking out words. Have the attitude to go out on the pitch and say, not fucking today, right? Is recover hard. When you're playing a direct team, it can end up like a fucking basketball game. The way it doesn't end up like a basketball game is that you recover, 4-1, 4-1, nice shape, every one of us behind the ball, make it fucking difficult for them to play through, and then we will work into possession. And that's how we will kill the momentum of the game. If the game ends up going fucking bosh, 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 it'll be chaos and they'll find openings. Slow them down. Um, and like I said, they're not shit, they're just basic. But they've done the basics better than you. Do the basics. <clears throat> Start there. Never outworked. One in, all in. Positive always. Composure on the ball. Move it around side to side. And fucking get into them. Um, yeah, on your feet, lads. All yours. Come in. Nice and tight circle, yeah? Come on, you get in Right, listen. Plenty of time left in this season for us to fucking do whatever we want here, yeah? The title is to promote. The aim is to promote. We will fucking promote, but you gotta start putting some wins in. So today, do whatever the fuck you need to do to motivate yourself. You need to take these to fucking town today. Absolutely give it them. Give it them physically, give it them mentally. They're a fucking verbal team. They're gonna be in your face. They're gonna try and boot you. They're gonna try and smack you, but they're not gonna try and play football. Win the football, win the fight, get the fucking three points. Let's go. Anyone like Jaffa cakes? <laughs> Listen, you eat round the Jaffa cake, pull the orange bit out, eat the orange bit. Be serious. Of course he throws it in his fucking mouth. Don't worry about time. Ask the viewers, how do you eat your Jaffa cakes? Do you pull it and take it out? Or do you just eat it? The right answer is the right answer is you eat round it. Pull the orange bit out and eat the orange bit. If you're just biting into it, you're mental. Get your comments in below, even if you are a monster. I'll tell you what, that lad loves the camera, doesn't he? He loves it. Ryan fucking turning it one from about where you are. Fucking full pal, fucking me out of that. Fucking kill. Bless him. Come on, let's go. 
180 Jaffa cakes. Is it? A box of 180 Jaffa cakes bro, for eight pounds. Costco, bro, Costco, what a gaff, bro. <laughs> it's the best Honestly, thing. bro, what a gaff, bro. Does anybody else just really want some Jaffa cakes right now? Check that shoulder, right? You could have rolled him. Ryan, look at me. D, please don't mention Jaffa cakes, please. I'll eat my Jaffa cakes. Probably buy buy half of it and then eat it off. Terrible. Terrible. How do you eat it? You got no. You got eat around it. Pull the orange bit out. Nah, that's too much. And then eat the orange bit. That's not one you're seeing, mate. That is long. I was literally in a five years. It's long, man. Well, eat half of it and then eat the other half. Richie, two square. Get your fucking body side on. Good movement, Joa. Ronnie, make a fucking run. That's it, Zach. Get your body side on for it. Tell Richie he's there, then. It's the same 10 outfielders, which I hope uh, bodes quite well, actually. We, we don't really do that. Um, Vic got injured on Tuesday in training, so um, Martin's gone in between the sticks. Um, but the same 10 outfielders, I'm hoping that they're, they're getting a little bit of rhythm together, a little bit of knowing each other's movements. And um, I, only, I only realised that was the case when I went to, to change the set pieces and was like, oh shit, it's the same team. Um, it's, it'll be a totally different challenge. Um, Danny's lads wanted to hold the ball, knock it around um, and play football. Haydock are very, very direct. Um, so it'll be a completely different style of game. It'll be a very aggressive game. Um, but I hope that the lads have got the, the composure to be able to play through it. Yeah, we've, we've had a poor 11 uh, the, the two times we've played them. I mean, we had uh, Oatsy and Ben in centre mid. The first time we played them, we had like 18 missing the second time we played them. I think we've got 14 missing today. Uh, the bench is relatively inexperienced, but the starting 11 is good enough to get the job done. Gaffer's confident, the players are ready, the scene relaxed. Go get yourself a brew, get some Jaffa cakes and enjoy, <coughs> enjoy the highlights. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's have a look how Paddock are going to line up today against Haydock. So in net, Flanagan, and it's a familiar back four. We've got Richie Ajay at right back, Mikey Burke at left back, and Thomas McFarlane and El Capitano, James Oat in centre-back. Midfield three, Omar Sinclair. He's working his way up the pitch. He's going to be up front soon. Watch out, Katumba. Zach Bell and Nosa Yamu accompany him in the middle. And then it's a front three of Joa DeAndrade on the right, Ronaldo Brown on the left, and leading the line up top, new signing, informed striker, Ryan Katumba. So the ref, checking the keepers are good. They're good. There's a whistle, and we're underway. Massive game for Paddock today. Need to win. I say it all the time, but it's as true as ever after a dodgy patch that we might be out of. Come on, Paddock. Anyway, here's Haydock on the ball. Just looking to progress the ball down the line. Not the best pass. And Flanagan's got a bit of the ball here. What can Flanagan do? Omar Sinclair just dropping in. Trying to pass the ball out, Paddock here. And that's not the best pass in the world. But Tommy's done well to collect that loose ball and get it up to Mikey Burke, who's got a bit of space ahead of him here. Go on, Mikey. It's a bit of a stinker of a tackle. We'll take the throw in. We'll take the throw in. Right, here's Katumba playing it back to Burke. Burke just pinging it over the top. That's a beautiful pass. Joa collecting the ball here. What can he do? Ronaldo's helping him out. Receives the ball. Here's Ronaldo Brown. Can he beat his man like he likes to do? Goes back. Mikey, same ball again. Go on, lad. Uh, I mean, it definitely wasn't the same ball as before. But Paddock, nice promising sign. Uh, Mikey, getting in the way there. Is Ronaldo on side? Ball's gone, I think. Mm, okay, we'll carry on. We'll carry on. Anyway, Katumba has a pop. And he just drags it wide. I tell you what, that was good from Katumba. Didn't even look like he was going to get a shot off there. And he's just skimmed the post. Haydock now, just knocking the ball over the top. Oatsy heads away. What can we do here? Here's Aji. Katumba there, getting his body in between the man and the ball brilliantly. And here's a chance for Paddock, breaking on the right. And the offside flag. Well, there's no offside flag, is there? Never says Halson. Um, but offside's been given. 
Nice ball there from Haydock. Mikey. Oh, and he's lost the ball there. And there's a chance here for Haydock. One on one with Flanagan. And the away side are 1 0 up. And that is a mistake. A goal that Paddock have just basically caused themselves trying to play with the ball. Mikey's turned. Look, let's just have a look. I mean, you're not going to see it here. Good finish by the number 10. But Mikey's just turned the wrong way. And he's given the ball to the number 10. Nice little ping across there, but it's intercepted. And Haydock have the ball again here. Mikey, though, recovering. Doing well. After making that mistake to win the ball back. He gets it to Ronaldo. Good link-up play between the two of them as usual. Can Ronaldo beat his full-back? He does. He gets a cross in. Good block. And that's probably a corner ball. Ref's given it. Ref with the goggles. Good ball from Mikey. Is that a handball? Does he control that with his arm? I'll tell you what. I tell you what, there's definitely a shout there. Definitely a shout there. Ronaldo Brown now, the furthest man back. I tell you what, get your comments in. Is that a penalty or not? It's definitely hit his arm. It's just a case of, has it come off his body then, his arm? Right, in goes the throw in from Omar. Nothing really coming of that. As the keeper looks to start a Haydock attack. Here's their winger on the ball, deep within his own half, but he shifts it nicely, breaks a line, and they've still got the ball here, Haydock. Paddock needs to be a bit better, and Zap Bell's been beaten now, and there's another chance for Haydock, cutting it across goal, but that's a good bit of defending from Ajay to get the ball away and into the feet of Mikey Burke, who gives it to Nosa, using the outside of his foot there, threading a lovely pass through to Joa, and there's a chance here for Paddock. Joa DeAndre, he's one-on-one -on -one here. Joa, straight at the keeper. Did well to get down low, but Joa knows he should have done better there. Hey, switch on! So Adji now just getting it into foul throw. Doesn't matter. Right, who's got the ball here? Up in the air. Could be anyone's, but Ryan Katumba using his body, using his strength and his height to get that ball down. Richie getting it oh, yeah. over to Mikey, oh, yeah. who gets it to Mr. Ronaldo Brown. Good pressure on him from the right back. He's making it difficult for him, but Ronaldo just weaves past him beautifully. And he still has the ball here. Gives it to Mikey Burke now. Mikey beats his man as well. Great play from the two of them. Chance for Paddock. Is it? Oh, and he's just been cut back just behind Ronaldo, who carried on his run. And that's a shot there from Omar, I think. Blocked. But Paddock there, Mikey and Ronaldo, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Flanagan should deal with this, and he does. And here's our Scottish centre-half, Thomas McFarlane. I don't know where he's from. We'll find out, we'll find out. I think he's from... I don't know, I'm not, I'm not going to say. Inverness, let's go with Inverness. Ryan comes in and fucking creates his face. Joa, fucking love that movement! Simplify it, play on two. Good header there from Omar to cut out the goal kick, and it means that Paddock have possession in Haydock's half. Nosa now spreading it out wide. Ronaldo again. He's been certainly having the better of this right back this game. Can't get past him there though, but it's a corner ball. In it goes from Mikey. Good flick on there from the keeper, just tipping it over. McFarlane now in an advanced position. Goodness me, those leg movements. That's well, not McFarlane, it's Oatsy. James Oat, more like Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, he loses the ball though, but Omar's there to pick up the pieces. Here's Aji. Here's Nosa. Trying to get it into Oat. That's a beautiful pass from Nosa. And James Oat scored a worldie last week. Why not have a go again? He's missed though. Right, here's Bell. Taking a throw in. What a throw in that is. Goodness me. There's absolutely nothing you can fault with the technique there. And here's Katumba. Katumba with his low socks. Shifts it on. Ronaldo Brown. Beautiful flick. And Katumba whips it in here. Chance on the edge of the box. But it just runs past the paddock man. And Haydock have the ball now. Advancing forward. 
<laughs> that was quite funny. What the ref? He turned away, ref. Anyway, free kick here to Haydock. He's lumped it forward. They've flicked it on here and they need to get rid of it, Paddock. Zach Bell does that uh, magnificently. But Haydock's have the ball again. He's certainly uh, probably not been the better team in the half. I'd say Paddock have had the better chances by far. Haydock just had that one major chance which they took. But here's Mikey Burke driving forward. Again, linking up well with his left winger. Ronaldo, cut in and have a shot, lad. Oh, it's beautiful from Ronaldo. Good tackle from number two. Paddock have another corner. Plays it short this time. But there goes the cross from Mikey Burke. It wasn't the best, but it's fine because Paddock still have the ball. Here's Mikey again. Beautiful thread of a needle pass. There's been a few of them today. And Joa again. Almost. Almost finding the back of the net. But the keeper just getting himself in the way of the shot. Good tackle from Richie here. Richie, he beats his man as well. And Paddock still have the ball. And the ref probably could have played advantage there. Wait, is he giving a free kick to Haydock now? Right, here's Mikey Burke. Has a pop. Straight at the keeper. But why not? Why not, Mikey? <clears throat> so Zap Bell playing the ball forward from deep. Good feet from Katumba, who unleashes Ronaldo Brown out on the left. Here's a chance for him. And there'll be no chance. Because he's offside. That was close. I tell you that now for nothing. That was a close one. Anyway, Paddock back in possession. There's a plane taking off in the background. You love to see it when you're in Withenshaw. Love to see it. Here's Omar. Out in the right pack position as we speak advancing forward though nice turn from him good pressure from the man in the middle from Haydock but Paddock come away with it Zach Bell now tries to spread it across the position possession back with Haydock now back with Paddock it's like pinball no one can keep it but Nosa can have a shot Nosa Nosa Yamu oh he goes through a pass instead and it's just slightly too much on the ball Nice from Nosa though, cutting outside, playing another beautiful pass through. It's been some great thread of the needle passes from some of Paddock's players today. Um, fortunately, it comes to nothing though. Right, Joe are on the ball now. Foul on Nosa. So Paddock will have a shooting opportunity here. Step up, Omar. Right, it's Mikey Burke. He's going to cross it. Doesn't go into the box though. Cleared away on the edge. But he's got it back again here. Beats his man nicely. Can he cross it again? We need a better cross from you, Mikey. Great feet from him. Great pace. Beats his man. And just gets tackled as he was kind of just getting into the box really on the byline. Paddock. Need a goal here really. We're 1-0 down. Like I said, we've certainly been the better side thus far. But when you're 1-0 down. Oh my god, it's a terrible, terrible mistake. And I've jinxed it. We're not 1-0 down. We're 2-0 down. And Paddock, again, causing another goal. It's, it's come from themselves. It's come from their own mistake. Flanagan and... I, I mean, I don't even know what to say about that. He's literally just... Oh, God. The, the less said, the better. So Paddock 2-0 down now, and that is not what we want, especially when we've been the better team. But there's another mistake here. But luckily, Aji just wins it back here. Right, Oatsy now, getting it out to Mikey. Paddock looking to build an attack. Hopefully he can get one back before the half-time whistle at least. Zach Bell now, playing it forward again. Some great play from Paddock today, great passing play. And here's Joa now out on the left. Swap with Ronaldo Brown. Gives it back to Nosa. Edge of the box. Good football from Paddock. Again. Oh, and there's a big, big, big bit of contact there. Is that a penalty? Get your comments in below. Again, another penalty shout for Paddock. There's a handball earlier. Oh, and Katumba having a great effort there. But Paddock asking questions of the ref. 
Unbelievable nutmeg there from Mikey Berg. I don't know how he's done that. Omar picking it up in the middle. Losing it though, unfortunately. And number 11 might be in here one-on-one. -on -one. Adji gets over to put pressure on him. And that's a good tackle. Is it a foul? It's not given. He, he drives forward now. Giving it to Ronaldo. Tackled. Zach now just spreading it out to Joa on the left. Go on, Joa. Off you go, lad. Space ahead of him. Gets past his man. Big touch. Probably a little bit too big. But the good fight from him keeps it alive. What's happening here? Nose has come away with it. He's got Mikey alongside him. Gives him the ball. Mikey Burke having a pop. Oh, and it's a good block from the man. Just sort of standing in the way of the keeper. But he did well. It's probably going in. Great ball by Omar Sinclair. Katumba's there. And the ball... He gets something on it, but it was just on the wrong side of his head. Still alive, though. No Suriyamu. Step over. Cross in. Headed away. Paddock. Relentless pressure. Relentless pressure. Searching for a goal back. Is that a penalty now? Not given. Three penalty shouts for Paddock. They've had no luck with either of them. We had the handball. We had the clash on No Sir. And we've had that. And that is the half-time whistle. Stretford Paddock losing 2-0 to Haydock. It's been a very, very positive half from Paddock. Lots of good play, but they've caused mistakes at the back between the defenders and the keepers. It's not good enough. And that is what has led to the scoreline of 2-0 to Haydock. How the hell is that not a penalty? Mike is as good as yours, bro. We've got to play our football. We've got to concentrate. They're going to go in hard on you, and you've got to be up for it. You've got to be up for a challenge, and we've got to create more chances. Get some shots. We've tested the keeper once, and he fumbles the bag every time. Test him, because we can't do three losses against these. These go above us in the league if they beat us. Let's not be negative, though. No, no, playing we're bad. playing fucking yeah, we're playing well. Playing, 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 playing well, man. We're playing, we're playing, playing really well. We just, we've, we've, got playing be, well. we've got to be on we've the front foot. we made two shit mistakes, that's yeah, it. No, we've got we'll to be on the front foot. And we've got to be energised. We've got to be up for it. I'm sick of seeing us when we've got heads down. We are by far the better team. On him, second half. Press like fuck. Put it on him. Give him as good as they give us. Because we cannot... I do not want to do another year in this in this league. We are by far, over the season, been... Good enough to go up. Do shit mistakes. Midfielders, can you start looking inside the fullbacks and centre half? Face there all day long. And they're playing a yeah, the high line and we're not really hitting the ball. That's the number two. He was the, the ball man who was the fullback. Like he was that it. useless at fullback. <laughs> They've swapped him out and put him in the middle already. There is space to get in behind them fullbacks. Like Ronnie said, yeah, in, the in, the, in, the, in the channel in the channel in between the fullback inside. and the centre half, that is the space <laughs> to attack. We've got to be in there and attack early. And that Joa, Ronnie, attack you, man. They will foul you, and eventually he will have to give us a foul for them. Keep attacking down that byline, but as soon as you see Ronnie and Joa attacking that byline, what do we need to see me attack or me midfield to be doing? Getting the box. And one in the box, one at front post, one at back post, and one edge. Every single time. Them three zones are going to be the killer zones. If we're laboured getting there, we're not going to get the finish. Well, that's a thing. That's really well. <laughs> like, it's Play on two in the middle, they're, they're gonna press the 15. They will. We say stim for you. So Haydock getting us back underway for the second half. We know what the deal is. Paddock need a win today to get back into any sort of promotion challenge. If they win today and they win all their games, it's technically still in our hands. I mean, the chances of us winning all the rest of the games this season, of course, very slim. But 
this would be a huge win today. We're 2-0 down, but we're playing well. Referee, just checking everything's okay. Happy with it, ref? Yeah? No? Joe is looking excited. Look at those feet. Unbelievable. And what's this guy's trim saying right in front of the camera? Uh, I mean, could be worse. Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. Not the not the worst fade I've ever seen. Anyway, Haydock getting us underway. And it's a throw into Paddock. Right, Haydock piling pressure on the Paddock defence here. Can they beat the press, Paddock? Not bad from Aji. Done well there not to lose it. McFarlane now getting it to Bell. And that's good play from the Paddock defence. Especially after their confidence probably been a little bit hit. Considering what happened in the first half. But one pass there just splits the whole team open. Nosa getting it to Katumba, who has a cross. I'm gonna say a cross. Just a bit too much on it. And uh Joa, maybe if he was six foot five, he would have headed that away. But Haydock need to get rid of this ball. And they don't. Joa does really well there. And I tell you what, if he goes down Joa there, could be getting a penalty, Paddock. That looked a bit rash from the fullback from Haydock. Anyway, Paddock still have the ball here, though. Nice ball into the back stick from James O. Katumba, though, just could not get up. Maybe he was being held back. Maybe he had a man ahead of him. But it's probably good defending from Haydock in the end. So here's Flanagan on the ball. Getting it out to McFarlane. Zach Bell coming back, you know, deep to receive the ball. As he does often. Paddock just taking advantage of Haydock, giving them a lot of space in the middle today. A few killer passes just splitting through and getting some yards for Paddock. And McFarlane does it brilliant there as he finds Omar down the left. Great ball into the channel. Omar Sinclair now. Back in the middle of the pitch. Gives it to Ronaldo Brown. Ronaldo stopping dead. Oh, beautiful turn from Nosa, who gets it into the box, and it's just ahead of Otzi, but Joa collects it. Who's on the edge of the box? Zach Bell with a low drive of a shot, but he just couldn't get the power on it. Um, and the ball, gee, that was a big tackle from the Haydock, man. I think he won the ball, but he got the man as well. So, Paddock's still 2-0 down, but very much in this game. All we need is a goal. All we need is a goal, just to get back into it. Give the boys a little bit more encouragement. But here's Omar now. Paddock certainly sticking to their game plan and playing some beautiful football through the middle and out on the channels. Ronaldo Brown now, head down. But he gets it to Mikey nicely. And Mikey shifts it onto Omar, who can drive at his man. Omar Sinclair cuts it back. Mikey Burke driving forward. Mikey Burke now, can he have a shot? He's still got the ball, Mikey. That's got to be a foul. Is that a penalty? Is that on the edge of the box or is that inside the box? It looks like the Haydock man has just kicked Mikey there. Surely a foul, but nothing given. And the ref goes to blow his whistle to see if Mikey's okay. Another penalty shout. Whether that was in, I'm not sure if that was in the box or not, but another shout for a foul not given. Here's Katumba though. Does well to break up the play, put in pressure. And he still has the ball. That's a nutmeg, that. Fair play, Katumba. Another big tackle from the Haydock man. He wins the ball this time. Ronaldo Brown now. A little bit of space ahead of him. What can Ronaldo do? Just calms it down a little bit. Good football. Zach Bell now. Getting it out wide to Joa. Cross it in, Joa. Cuts back. Gives it to Bell. Edge of the box. Good football from Paddock as usual. A left-footed shot from Zach Bell. Again, does well to save that. Good game, the Haydock keeper. Made quite a few saves today. Paddock have tried to put as much pressure on him as possible and made his day quite busy today. But he's done well so far. Great running from Ronaldo Brown. He's playing some fantastic football at the minute. Joa with a left-footed strike. Another great save. And no, sir. Oh, it looked harder to miss than score. Oh, no, no. Golden opportunity, that Paddock. But we haven't taken it. Great ball. Katumba now. Edge of the box. What can Katumba do? Gets it to Ronaldo. We need to get a shot off here. Ronaldo Brown. Can he get a shot away? 
He likes to delay his shot, but Joa, it's a penalty. It's got to be a penalty. And this one has been given. Stretford Paddock with a chance now to get a goal back. Time, Jesus. No, Suyamu missed his last penalty. He's got to score this one. Sends the keeper the wrong way. Paddock back in the game. 2 1. Just literally sent the keeper the wrong way. Just side foots it into the right hand side of the goal. And Paddock needed that. Nosa needed that. He's back on the score sheet from the penalty spot. Hey, Joa, two more now. Come on, it. Two more. So, Paddock now continuing with the pressure on Haydock. The best we've played against Haydock by miles this season. But there's a chance here. Number 10's in one on one. He gets past Flanagan. But James O, with a fantastic bit of last ditch defending, stops that ball finding the back of the net and keeps Paddock in the game. See, that's important. Just when a team's dominating and they keep making chances and chances, you do leave yourselves open. And Paddock did there, but James Oak did really, really well to get back and block that. But here's Ronaldo Brown again, having a fantastic game, toying with the defenders. And that is certainly a corner, but again, shouts are a handball. Oh, if he's come off here, it's an hand. Oh, my God. Haydock now getting the ball forward got to deal with this paddock Flanagan kicks it away but Haydock still have the ball they go for a shot from far out but that wasn't going to trouble anyone even if my grandmother was in goal so Haydock now on the ball again driving forward chance here number 10 can he score It'd be, it'd be a big ass from that angle. Mikey Burton as well to disrupt him, but it falls to number nine. Paddock just need to win the ball back, and they do nicely. James out with a little back heel on his own touchline. Risky stuff, but it's paid off. Ronaldo now toying with that lad who's on the floor now. Beats another man. Ronaldo Brown running like the wind today. Beating men for fun. Has a shot, which he doesn't often. But he's missed. Hey boys, keep going, it's coming. Yes, Zach Bell using his studs to get that ball away. And I'm not even going to say his name. I've said his name too many times today. Ronaldo Brown. But he gets it to Katumba this time. What can Katumba do? He's going to go around the outside. No, he cuts back. James Oat driving forward. Look at him. Hands in the air. But he carries on his run. If Ronaldo can get a ball in. Hopefully James can get his, uh, his noggin on it. And he does. But it's cleared away. What can Oatsy do here? Oh, he does get his noggin on it. Just bounces it. Bounces it. Lets it plod off. And Nosa picks it up. Zap Bell now. Having to think of what to do. He just gives it back to Nosa. There's a little overlap from Mikey. But he goes back to Zap Bell. Have a pop, lad. Great ball. Oh, am I Sinclair? Oh, my word. He's got a score. Come on, Paddock. We need a goal. We need at least a point here today. But if we can get a goal now, anything's possible. Here's Joa. In the box now. Joa hits it. And he's hit the side netting. Just didn't get enough on it to cut across. Again, Paddock. Chance after chance. Pressure after pressure. I mean, look. Haydock have defended well today. I mean, if that's not a corner... What? What? Hey? Oh, it's he lumping it forward. He doesn't get as much on it. Haydock have the ball back. Chance for them. And it's 3 1. Right at the death. Haydock against the run of play. Another paddock mistake at the back has granted them a chance. And let's be fair to them. They've been clinical today. And they've scored a third goal here. Paddock just 
coming forward, trying to just win a ball there and have left themselves open. Number 11 in, and it's a great finish. Oh, that hurts. Still time, though. Ronaldo Brown whipping it in. Can Paddock get a goal back? Ronaldo now, back in the box. Gets the ball in, headed away. Everyone queuing up in the box. Aftab now losing it, and they might break again here. Another chance for Haydock. There's no time. The final whistle is gone. And Stretford Paddock, against the run of play, have lost today 3-1 fantastic performance but defensive mistakes and just not being able to finish today has cost them a couple of questionable decisions from the referee but a game that we had to win has gone unfortunately the wrong way it's another loss against Haydock 3-1 final score You're not going to want to hear this, and it won't sink in, and you're probably just going to fucking dismiss what I'm saying, but you played some of the best football we've played today. And the effort and the fucking heart and the desire was there. We conceded a couple of early goals on mistakes that we made. To be a team that fucking challenges for titles, you have to grind through them games where you have mistakes and, and find a way to win. That's the bit we're not doing just yet. We're not finding a way to win. It's all right playing well, but there's got to be that ruthless killer instinct that when you are playing well, when you are getting chances, you put them away. Mikey said we could have fucking scored eight today, and I know he's concussed, but it actually made a lot of sense. We could have. We had the chances, didn't we? So, pick yourselves up. It's a fucking big week. You've got another massive game this week. Sulk about this today if you want. Get your fucking head on it tomorrow. Get recovered. Get your asses at training. And let's fucking go. So. Let's not make those subs at the end again. Because it doesn't make sense. People are coming on. I asked, I asked, I asked off tab. No, it, is, nah, it, it doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't work. I asked off tab. He came on. I said, where are you playing? He said, in the middle. Nah, because obviously, said, Steve, Steve about? since day one, well, you, you, since the first years of Paddock, we've done every time we've done that games, we've just threw bare attacks. We, we were on top of the game. That's on me. Never no, worked. That's on no, me. I, 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 and I'll, I'll take that. Say, I shoulder yeah, that. I take that responsibility for making the subs and trying to force our way through. Okay. So that's on me. Don't worry about that. I, I swallow all of that. The other stuff you lot have got to fucking swallow. Yeah. We didn't score from open play despite making a fucking million chances, right? Yeah. That's something to fucking fix ahead of next week, in it. So, like I said. Talk about it all you want today, that's fine. I don't expect you to just brush off that sort of defeat. Tomorrow, get your fucking head right, get recovered, get stretched. Tuesday, we'll be fucking at it again, all right? I mean, me and Steve were talking before the game, like everything we wanted to do on the ball, we, we did it. We were brilliant in the final third, playing through the third, we played through the press, which is exactly we knew we were going to press us. We played through it very well. Obviously, we made a mistake, we didn't the goal, but I'm not happy with I'm not happy with the result, but in terms of how we played, I'm, I'm, I feel that I feel that we did we, we did everything. I wouldn't say everything we could, but up until scoring the goals, I think we've, we've done brilliantly. Hey, right. <laughs> Alan, have you seen the Arsenal game? What's the score? It's currently two one. You can check it on the One Football app. Look. And, uh, and allowing a ball bounce and not communicating, yeah, yeah. And, and getting well, each other's way with it. The last one as well, you can forgive chasing. Uh, yeah, last one's just one of them. It was in the ninety first minute or ninety third, I think it might have been. And we're fucking just pushing. You're not thinking about defending. No, no. <laughs> yeah, you know. You'd, you'd rather in that situation. You're not trying to work out the XG on four one. <laughs> the XG on that game. And you know what's the craziest thing? I don't think they have many shots. They didn't. They in the first, I don't think the second half. They were just in there. Mate, did you make any saves today? No. <laughs> no. So fuck me. <laughs> you you was corners, punching, that's it, wasn't it? Yeah. I can't say I'm happy with the performance, but I am, I'm proud of the performance because I thought we fucking we did everything. Yeah, we fought for it. We didn't give up. Our man of the match today. I thought we didn't give up. 
Joe was off the ball movement. We were moving off the ball. That's what we're looking for. We killed him out wide. We did. We killed him. Both Ronnie and Joe. Ronnie and Joe, yeah. A bit of better decision making from the pair of them. We could have had that trick each. Yeah. The only one. Joe was ripping him. Yeah. I know you want Ryan to be deep. Real fan ownership, real fan input, real fan change, real fan power. 50 plus one, we can go better than that. 100 plus none. Download our app, view the free content, read about the club, that's fine. But if you want more, become a member. To vote, to go behind the scenes, to make an impact, interact with a global community around the world, influencing how we grow, where we play, club ethics and values. The more members we have, the faster we grow. Support the club, run the club, own the club. This is ours and no one will take it away. The future is in all our hands.